Hey. Wait a minute. First off, Rob, my producer, is like, okay, I totally would wear this. Um, love it. This, we both said this. If it was just plain sterling silver, okay, my friends, at $119, all this silver for a beautiful cuff bracelet, that would be like unheard of, right? This is completely reversible. Turquoise and Labradorite. We originally offered this for $229. No kidding, over $100 off. Only while quantities last. $24 with flex pay to get this home with your 30 day money back guarantee. I'm giving you a sneak peek at this quickly early on in the game because they won't last. 811431 is the item number. So that's just a, a little sneak peek of what we have. Do you believe that? <laughs> I know. Anyway, um, but the other thing that has been uh, the most talked about special, of course, is our best value of the day that Jay and his team have been working on uh, for many, many months for our birthday celebration. Take a look at our today's special. this because this was actually created off uh, uh, one of our number one best sellers including the spiny oyster cell okay nowhere near $99.98 I can say that for certain okay uh, happy birthday HSN is what you, you you, I, okay I'm gonna point out something right now okay the necklace we did it in lapis and it was something it was different okay and it, and it had different materials but it was the same color where they're getting comparable retail value guess what that's what that necklace sold for. So it was, a, it was oh. lapis, it was smaller beads. But that's where they're using for the, so they, they couldn't even find anything else that was. Even equivalent. Right. Like so we're, I see what you're we're saying. selling something that actually has more material in it and more colors than that had in it. And that's why I was telling you earlier, normally if you were gonna sell the lapis, like the turquoise would probably be, would have to come in like around 179. The Thu Light would probably be around 149, and the Lapis, I would have to say, would probably be minimum, and me doing my magic would be like 159. Mm -hmm. So the, the $99 value is <laughs> truly a value. a value, okay? It's not a maybe value, uh, and it, it's because it's not only the birthday month, it's not only our birthday month, but it's actually a today special. And when you say the today specials, just so you know, I don't think that people realize, like you don't, these just don't willy nilly appear. Right. Especially right. handcrafted, well, right? And you but gotta, but it, just to, to have a today special, if you could imagine what you have to do and go through. Well, you know, um, when, you know they, they want just that. I mean, they're looking for something that you couldn't get, that you could never even find, or that the, the value on something that is truly ridiculous, or that it is something substantial, substantial value. And that's what these are, and this is what these represent. And you get three different choices, okay. right? There's and three different um, uh, designs. We're gonna focus in on, on just that, but here's just, and again, real quickly to let you know, if you want the lapis, that is gonna be the first to sell out. We're not seeing lapis, you know, again, you, you were just saying, in 2024, very few lapis necklaces planned already, you're gonna, you're, right? Yeah, you're gonna be, we're, you know, we're already working, because, you know, when I say they're hand done, they're handcrafted, I'm not just saying that, okay? That's the reality. Come, come and I'll give you a tour. <laughs> <laughs> this, we don't buy anything pre-made, right? So it's, it's not like we can order stuff, right? This is, they're all created by hand by us from the natural raw materials. Yes. So um, to even create these, these were, we started manufacturing these eight months ago. It's Eight months ago is when we started. Wild. You know what, since we're on lapis, let's focus on that for a minute. I'm gonna bring in that spiny oyster because you're seeing this array of bright, beautiful color along with whatever choice you go with, the lapis, the thulite, which is the most beautiful raspberry, or the turquoise that is exclusive that you're only gonna find here, a beautiful high blue turquoise. But this is, right, the spiny oyster. This is spiny oyster, and this is a spiny oyster that actually, now watch it, it'll, it'll, oh, yeah. it'll draw blood. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like that. Like I, I guarantee you, I'm, I drew blood this morning with it. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Oh. Okay, 
this is what we're showing here is the spiny. That's how it comes out of the ocean. Now, of course, it's got the bottom half, and the oyster's been removed. This actually, you, you know, is an oyster. I mean, you could grow pearls. I mean, you do find pearls mm -hmm. in these. This comes out of the Sea of Cortez in the Baja Peninsula. So even the spiny, even getting the spiny oyster material, um, it's not something um, that, it's not, it's definitely not as easy to get as it was 30 years ago, all right? Um, I, the only reason that I even have spiny, to be honest with you, is I'm using some of my connections um, that we developed in the 70s, in the late mm. 70s, um, of people that are still, the, the spiny oyster, uh, there's only 12, I believe it's now down to 12 families that are grandfathered in. It's protected. Uh, it's not in danger, but it is protected. And they only let them dive for it um, twice a year, and the season lasts about two weeks at that time. So even to get the natural material on the spiny oyster, to be honest with you, is very, very difficult. And then in this case, we're showing the turquoise. Okay, this turquoise, I can say this without a doubt, I have an exclusive on this turquoise. Mm -hmm. There was only two loads that came out of the mine. There's only two loads, we got both of them. Um, the mine after that had to close. And uh, as far as I know, I can't get back into this area, I'm trying right now, to be able to see if I could, if they mined more material, if we can get more material. But this is not, this material right here, this turquoise is Heavenly Well Lake. It is not available on the commercial market. Nobody has this material. We're the only ones that have this turquoise. And it's beautiful. It's what everybody's gathering for too, right? They want that, that color of turquoise. Well, here, here's the thing with uh, uh, turquoise right now. To tell you the truth, anybody that could even get any turquoise, is. if you could get any turquoise, uh, feel fortunate. Um, there is right now, um, I, I was just talking to a friend of mine, Marty Cobalt, who has the Kingman mine. And we were talking about a friend of ours and um, who is really kind of like the turquoise guru, right? This, this is the man that used to be the go-to guy for turquoises. His turquoise knowledge is just phenomenal. In fact, he owns uh, several turquoise mines that are now... Um, well, they're still getting material, but it's very, very limited, and it's very, very expensive. Um, um, with any turquoises, any turquoise, I'm not, I'm not talking American turquoises, there is nothing coming out of America per se, very much. Very little is coming out of the Kingman mine right now. There is more material there. Um, China, zero. I mean, nobody's finding any material. Uh, Mongolia, um, you know, I, I am getting a little bit out of there, but not much. My main go-to, Mexico, Mexico, which I had five different mines that I bought from in Mexico. None of them, none of them have any material. Um, I've got mines producing in Chile, and I've got a new mine, a brand new mine that we're doing in Peru. So just the rarity of turquoise right now, um, there is, it, I've, I personally have never seen it, but a lot of uh, of my the people that are in the industry with me, they're saying the same thing. They've never seen this actually in their lifetime where turquoise, they're not seeing any rough. They're not seeing any material come out of the ground. So um, we're fortunate in the fact that Very. we live for turquoise, yes. okay? It's one of the things that we're known for. Actually, it's our number one material. I would say, and I, I don't know, maybe somebody else has more. A lot of us have private collections like I do. I mean, I literally have hundreds, if not encroaching on a thousand different turquoises that I've worked with during my career. Um, but we probably have the widest variety of in, in manufacturable quantities, which is the key thing, where we have enough rough that we can still make designs. So here again, um, uh, we're kind of the go-to people for turquoise, and you're getting a brand new turquoise. Through light. Let's talk about that, my friend, as we look at it on Andy. And remember, the um, wrap bracelets are getting very, very limited. And then we have the drop earrings that we're going to give you that information, too. So where am I going to find through light, Mr. King? Okay, through light, um, the only place that I've ever seen it, the only, the only source that I'm personally aware of. Okay, even for collecting specimens, I don't know anybody that... I don't know anybody that sells even through light specimens. This material comes out of one location. Uh, it's located on a farm in Norway. Uh, it's uh, kind of on an island. It's surrounded by a marsh. 
Uh, we get it directly from the miner. His name is Christian. They only mine six to eight weeks out of any given year. Whatever they obtain during that time, because it's so hard to mine it, it's, uh, you can't get any big equipment to it. Uh, it all has to be done by hand. It all has to be lifted out on a helicopter. They put it in lift bags and lift it out. So thulite um, is a natural material, natural stone, and it's the uh, Norwegian national stone. Wow, that's so cool. And nobody else, like you said. I mean... I, well, I, you know, like it's not really, it is, I guess Christian brings, he brings it to Tucson, yeah. and so people can buy it. Uh, we had an exclusive on it for three years. We mm. bought everything of a certain grade that came to Tucson. So we pretty much bought every single thing that he had, all the higher grade material. Um, and we had it exclusive for three years. These, this is material that I have collected over probably a, a seven year period, eight year period. And uh, we still have it available to put in our designs. And you know, it, you could not have chosen a better stone than the spiny oyster to place with every single one of these we, selections. It, I mean it. It was one of those things that kind of went with everything. It, it kind does. of had a good feel to it. And here's the thing. We wanted something bright, something yeah. vivid, something with a real pop to it, something with some energy. You and, bet. and I really think that we did it with these designs. Oh, there's no doubt about it. So that, if you are just tuning in, is our best value of the day. We launch it at midnight. Um, we are well over a third of the quantity gone, over 3,000 gone. We are very, very busy. We're showing you also item numbers to the matching pieces, which are getting very limited now, especially if you want that wrap. And it's a coiled bracelet, so one size will fit most. And there you can see it in the turquoise. We also have the thulite. We still, I want to say lapis. I'm going to have Rob, my producer, double check on that, is where we're most limited now on the wrap bracelet. And actually, I know that's true with the Today's Special. So if you're thinking about that, you know, again, the deeper blue of the lapis. And I'm going to show you the rough because this is the story that Jay has been telling us. I have been collecting lapis as soon as I know. I know Jay. I've been working with Jay, known him, you know, since day one, uh, 28 years. When he tells... That it went, you know, through the years. You know, something's happening. I'm, I'm running out of material. A mine is closing. That's when you know. You've been saying about lapis for a long, long time that you're, and you have a lot. You had a lot of parcels. You had a lot of lapis, but it's running low. Okay. Well, I'm going to give and you some basics here. Okay. Yes. With lapis, and it's not just look. I can, you know, lapis. I we just built a house two years ago, um, and we have lapis tile in the house. It does not look like this, <laughs> okay? This, the, the difference in what I'm talking about here, this is super high grade, this is natural, okay? So this isn't dyed or enhanced. If you take this material right now, and I just took it and buffed it up, it'll look just like that. We haven't done anything to it, right? This is what's non-existent. It, it's not out there, you can't get it. Nobody has bring it in, and it's been seven years now. So. For 25 years, I, every time we would get lapis in, just the same thing with the turquoise, okay? I don't put it all out, the designs. We were getting huge volumes in. I sort it through. The first thing we do, everything comes in, we sort it by size. Then we sort it by color, and then we sort it by grade. So it goes through three processes when the rough material enter, enters the warehouse. So we put certain percentages back. Lapis, I had three warehouses that had lapis, substantial lapis quantities. We took those three, when we started getting to where we weren't gonna get any more, we took all those condensed it to one warehouse. So I could figure out what I got left and what I can design with. Okay. All right, I've been saying this for a while. Next year, it's gonna be extremely limited. If, I, if I'm able to do any beaded necklace designs, it will be limited to size of what we can do. Um, there, I mean, we're just down to the wire. We're not able to buy any more new material. Um, I did break down and bit the bullet and, and bought a small quantity for somebody the other day at a stupid price. I mean, just expensive. ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, it's more expensive than than anything I've ever bought lapis at, but just so that I could have something for some cabs and stuff maybe down the road. Mm -hmm. But next year, don't expect to see a lot of lapis in our designs. And it's, it's not that I don't wanna do it, it's a key material for us, it's just that we're not gonna have it. Well, speaking of lapis, we just sold out of the bracelet. 
the oh, matching cool. coil bracelet. So, um, like I said, if that is where you're you're kind of going into that direction, uh, wouldn't wait too long. That'll definitely be the necklace. Well, or today's special will definitely be the first to go. And of course, the necklace is 18 inches. Just to show you, 99%. Uh, and this is going back through the years. The, what you asked for, right? A new clasp with an extender and make it easy that anybody can wear it and anybody can, you know, hook it themselves. That's what you're going to receive. And you know, you'll see that sterling silver puffed heart. That'll be a true, that's a J King piece, handcrafted, and it's an original. So there's just some of the other little, you know, details that you can look for um, how beautifully everything is finished. So, yes, first to go will be the lapis. Um, also, once again, super, super popular, signature stone turquoise and it's beautiful you said this before it's alive this piece it's it has spirit to it well, it's it, it's happy well one of the reasons that we did this design and we especially did it for july um is we wanted something that was that was bold that was vibrant that had all the different colors and these are this these are what i call happy designs happy. right i mean they're they're just full of life i mean why do you know you know think about this do you know like uh, color influences you in so many aspects of your life. Um, you know, why is spring where everybody just like, you know, it's spring. Okay, well, you came out of winter, right? Yeah. Number one, you came out of winter, doom and gloom, right? Spring, though, think about it. All the, everything's in bloom, right? You're getting all these different vibrant colors. You're getting all these um, great looks. It has great energy to it. A lot of thought. Okay, we didn't design these three necklaces without thinking about it for a long time. We did the designs, and then it came down to the painful part. It came down to the price, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I will tell you, our buyer, who's a lovely young lady, she I love her dearly, I've worked with her for years. I actually worked, worked with her before, um, when she was an assistant buyer. So we have a long history together, but she just said, look, here's the deal. And I need it for that. I said, there's no way to do that. You cannot do that. But here we are. And it happened. <laughs> it did. And when Jay um, but, tells you that, believe me, and that's why we well, welcome so many first-time shoppers today, too. You know, welcome to the world of Jay King. Jay travels the world. Many times he's Skyping from somewhere. We don't know where he might be. I know another trip's going to be coming up yeah, soon, Yeah, pretty soon. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it from my house in England. Oh, cool. The, those three days. Because okay, I can't get back in time. But I'm going to, uh, this time I'm going to 18 different countries. Wow. So I'll leave on the 30th. And, and, and what he's doing there for our new shoppers, you're We're, looking for well, rare around. opportunities. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, yeah, some of it's fun. But um, it's always, <clears> um, I don't, you know, I, I work you know, we're always looking for new material. Yeah, and you have an amazing team. You're, again, that work together, designers, uh, again, yeah, crafters. Yeah, and, and that's why we can do what we do. But I just, for people who haven't shopped with us and don't know what we do, we're a really, really niche business. Everything you're looking at, all these designs, every part of this, even the sterling silver enhancer, is all created by us in-house. All the designs, we do all the lapidary work, all the silver work, anything, and then we bring it directly to you. And again, one of the reasons that we can even do the original prices that we have is because we go mine direct wherever possible. We're buying directly from source. So we're, we're not, there's no people in between. Anytime you have somebody in between on a deal, somebody's got to make money. I mean, you've got to make money. I mean, they're not, they can't do it for free. They wouldn't be in business. So we try to eliminate all that. We go direct, and then we have this great opportunity with you where we can bring our designs and deliver them directly here on, on air to you, which it's an amazing, amazing relationship. It is, and then on top of that, it's HSN, so then we can offer FlexPay, which I love. You don't even Yeah, I couldn't do that. The, the FlexPay? So, yeah. yeah. You, HSN see, does that. See, that would be something like you were buying for me. I can't. I can't give you flex pay, right? right? Well, Which let me put even a fifth makes of the it, price gives it down. even a better value. But even on top of that, it's not like a layaway. You know, it's not like, oh, well, I'll, I'll take advantage of that and I'm going to get my necklace in five months. We're shipping it right to you. You'll get it in the next few days. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee uh, on every single purchase. And I'm saying that for, of course, you know, our new shoppers out there who maybe never purchased anything, but it's like, this is the most beautiful necklace I've ever seen. I love turquoise. I love lapis. I love that color of that beautiful beautiful through light. I love the story that only comes from one place. I love the fact that nobody else is going to have anything like it. I love the spiny oyster, the colors, the way, again, it all comes together and it's instantly, you know, a happy piece. And that's 
Happy birthday, HSN. Thank you to Jay. And we want to thank the hundreds of you, first time shoppers. You won't be disappointed. I want to mention again, we have matching earrings. We also have the matching bracelet. It did sell out the bracelet in the lapis, but we still do have a handful in the turquoise as well as in the Thulite. And then we're also going to talk about the drop earring. But final minute, Jay, uh, on our best value of the day, we have now over 3,500 spoken for and just a little over a thousand now of the lapis. And you know what, today's special is supposed to last right. hopefully so throughout the day, so but that's what's happening. If I recall, I think we're uh, over half now, we, we, okay. uh, substantially over half of what we were able to create. And, and that, you know, a lot, I know it sounds like a lot when you think about it, but when, a lot of times like today's special, we're bringing in like 15,000. That's not the case. No, no, like no, this. yeah, with this. There is no way. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, even 15, 20,000 is kind of what they do with us. We can't do that, so. Okay, so we do have the drop earrings aversion um, that you can choose in turquoise through light or in the um, lapis, or we have that set of three. And I don't know, I, I can't, we can't have many of these left. Okay, just about 150 pair. And you're getting all three. You're getting, you're receiving the turquoise, you're receiving the lapis, and you're receiving the spiny oyster, all three in sterling You silver. know, I, we made these eight months ago. So, is when we started this project. So, I forgot that we even did this. But I wanted, you know, this uh, actually was a request. We had viewers request this. So, we used those three popular, popular materials. But if you see it on Ange, and Ange, it, you know, I love that she's doing this. Look at the size of these. Okay, these are post earrings. But you can wear them as standalone post earrings. Ange is uh, using it as an uh, accent piece, actually, where she's got two piercings, which is uh, a great idea. But I just want you to look at the size, okay? They're, these aren't little itsy bitsy. They're really, really nice size studs. Yeah, it's and it's natural eight. lapis, natural spiny oyster, and natural turquoise, natural okay. heavenly well lake turquoise. I'll let you know when they're gone. I'll let you know when they're completely sold out. 844-517 is the item number. And then we also have the earrings I've been wearing. I believe Angie also, yeah, she has these on as well, along with the studs. And we have the bracelet, the wrap bracelet. We did sell out of the bracelet in the lapis, but we still, and I think we're getting really limited in the bracelet in the turquoise. But so again, your choice here, either the turquoise, as you see on Angie, each one will have that spiny oyster, which I love that combination as well, uh, and the lapis in that case. So if you choose the turquoise, it's gonna be $109. The Thulite earring, drop earring, is $89.95. And then the lapis is $99.95. And of course, the five flex payments is gonna apply to all of those. So that's just a little over an inch, about one and three-eighths of an inch in length. All right, let's get an update on this uh, Coil bracelet, because I know this has been going super quickly. Uh, okay, there's 130 in both, turquoise and thulite. That's it? Oh. Okay, total. If you want the thulite, I have 80 remaining in the bracelet. In the turquoise, I have fewer than 50. Uh-oh. All right. And, yeah, and then we probably made three times the turquoise that we did, oh, yeah, and then the least. lapis, we did uh, almost as many as we did in the turquoise. So, oh. but I have to tell you this, you saw Lynn put this on, right? This is like, we, we say one size fits most. Uh, I have to tell you, I've never personally met anybody that, that could wear, wear one. Yeah. The, it is probably the most, um, it's, it's a design, I mean, I've been doing this, um, the, I've been doing coil wrap bracelets since the 70s, right? But I will tell you, of all the bracelets that we've ever done, it is the most wear-friendly bracelet. And you're getting, like you notice, you get like a stackable. You get oh, three yeah. bracelets Instant. all in one look. Very, very simple. It's so comfortable on, so comfortable on. Um, we'll let you know when those will be gone. But of course, everything pairs right back to our very best value of the day. And let me tell you what a value it is for an 18 inch necklace in lapis, in turquoise, or in thulite, matched back with, of course, piney oyster, up for $99.95. Happy birthday is what we say, right, Jay? We love that, HSM. We won't repeat that, but these won't be around very long. I do want to mention a quick 
quick way for you to get through because we've been very busy is shoppinghsn.com. You can just search Jake King. And then while you're there, check out all of our specials from Andrew Lesman. We're featuring free shipping and handling and special pricing on select supplements and vitamins for Andrew Lesman. And that goes on through the entire month of July. So check that out and do stay with us because when we get back, more birthday celebration specials with J. King, including that reversible, um, real uh, turquoise and labradorite cup bracelet. Can't wait to share that with you. That's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Food has always been my passion. But the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. G by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone Care to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. It's our birthday, and what better way to celebrate than to gift you with extra savings and hundreds of birthday priced items all July long. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful... Is it Monday? <laughs> Monday. <laughs> it, it is Monday. Monday. <laughs> I love that you, you know, think about it, too. Right? You know, but I had to think about it. You know, like, um, it's really funny. Do you know that I wake up sometimes? I, I, I just got off this trip, and I wake up so many times, and I'm like... Time where, where you are. Where am I? <laughs> you, know, like, you don't recognize anything, and then you're kind of like... And then all of a sudden, you open the window, and you walk out, and you're thinking... Oh my God, <laughs> I'm in Budapest. Well, you have or, an excuse. Or, I know. I'm in Albania. <laughs> I'm in Albania. Oh my God. You know, how do I get to Albania? <laughs> Let alone what day it is, right? <laughs> yeah, Jake? yeah, I have no clue. Uh, Jay King is here. We're celebrating our 46th anniversary, or birthday, rather, uh, throughout the entire month of July. So we always look forward to his visit with Jay, and we always look forward. I mean, okay, talk about silly. Talk about an opportunity buy that will never, ever be repeated and absolutely insist on this one. It's a customer pick at the higher price, but go and have this appraised because... <laughs> I promise you, nowhere near, even where that, you know, retail compare is, already close to 700 of these have been selected on the day today. It's a seven and a quarter inch cuff bracelet. But here's the magic. Jay, we were looking at the turquoise one way. Yeah, but. It reverses. Yeah, the simplicity of this, watch. Look at this, too, and I'll show okay, that to look, you. It doesn't take a yeah. rocket science. Yeah, and I, that's the other thing I like about it. And your cuffs, another one, I know they'll say seven and a quarter inches. I have a super small, very small wrist. Y you can wear our cuffs. I can put cuffs. that on, and I don't have a super small wrist. I right. can pop this on. Here, here's what I want to show you on this. Number one, here again, this is Mind Find exclusive. Um, we developed this design. Actually, Brian, um, much to his credit, you know, <laughs> he's, he's, he's my, uh, Brian and I go way back. I mean, far enough back that Brian, I, I hate to hang around him with other people because he tells stories, you know, <laughs> especially Brian and I, let's, let's just say we've had some very interesting things happen to it with airplanes that I've been piloting. Oh, <laughs> so, gotcha, so gotcha. So he designed this, and, and here again, the brilliance of this. So you're, you're making one purchase, but you're getting two completely different looks. Now, that being said, this is what we do. Number one, it's our design. Nobody else has this. I mean, but these are all in, individually handcrafted by our silversmiths. Keyword silversmiths, right? 
There is no way to cast or stamp something like this. Every one of these have to be individually hand done. Um, what Lenny Bo Benny is doing such a great uh, job of showing, this is natural lapid, uh, a labradorite out of Madagascar. Now, it's really high quality labradorite, but the thing with labradorite, it has its own property, the property of labrador essence. One thing I wanted to show here mm -hmm. that, okay, okay, do you see it sparkling here? Do you see that this is labrador essence? That's what it's doing. See this dead spot right here? Mm -hmm. Do you see that right there? Yeah. The only reason that that's not sparkling, can you see the, the color behind that? If I took this and cut this, I guarantee you, if I take this, this material and I cut it this way and chase that fire line, there's a fire line in there, and that will look just like that. Oh, so and cool. that's what makes Labradorite, you could have the highest grade Labradorite on planet Earth. If you don't have Lapidaris that can actually know how to, what we call orient the stone, and cut along the fire lines in the natural material, it will look just like this. So instead of having the fire and exhibiting the, the uh, labrador essence, it would, it would dull out and it would just look just like that. And that's why, to be honest with you, when you see a lot of the, I know that you've probably experienced this, I personally have experienced it, where I've seen other designers that have cut labradorite, but it has, it's not fluorescing. It it's not, doesn't have the, the labradorescence and it just dulls out. Yeah, it, it, it's, um, um, it, it, it's, it doesn't really show the fire of it. Right, that's so true. And again, the reversibility is what makes it so uh, amazing. And then you can just, and you can even take it and reverse it to the turquoise side because it just, it's so simple. A lot of times when you have reversible jewelry, it's like, ooh, you gotta be like, a genius to figure out how to do it or a special this, tool. This actually, like depending that. on your, your wrist and how it's on the wrist, you can literally take this and flip it. You could, you could probably with your wrist, you could just flip oh, it over. over. Yeah, just see. Yeah. Look at that. You're right. So you're, you're. Think about this, okay? You're, you're at the counter. You're buying something, <laughs> right? They turn their back. You flip, right? <laughs> you flip your cap, and they look at it. And they're going to be looking at you like, "What? what you know, how, how did that happen?" So, um, a combination. Um, we also did this design in um, lapis and rhodochrosite, and that's sold out. But uh, we've got just a few of these. Talk about a stupid price, though. Here again. Um, the original price on this that we were selling it for the amount of silver, and when we built this, silver wasn't the cost that silver is currently, right? Oh. So you can, there's no way that you could build this. There's no way that you could actually make this um, and even come close to selling it for this for this value, this price. Just the cost of the materials alone and the labor factor. And Jay, this. it's a customer favorite at 200 and whatever, $29. I mean, we're over $100 off and with right. flex we, pay. We just have the last oh. remaining amount that we've that's had. That's it, And that's, that's why they've, they've gone ahead and did it. And they, you know, how they do this, uh, I don't know if I should tell them or not, but you know what, <laughs> they, they don't. Yes, you are, you're they, not gonna hold anything well, they, they don't, well, you know how it works. Yeah. They don't, the, number one, they look at it, oh, we got X quantity, and they look at it as arable quantities, right? How much time? Because it's expensive, guys, to put things on air. Sure. And they say, okay, um, we've only got that many. So they, they don't even look at it. <laughs> they just yes. discount it. So even if, maybe not even be aware of the fact that it's sterling it's, silver. <laughs> so that's why you get these great values. But I'm just telling you, the cool thing about this, not only are you getting a stupid, stupid value on this. Okay, think about the design in itself. You're, you're, making, you're making one purchase, you're getting two totally different looks. But I wanna point out how these are made. They're made from scratch. We make them, they're custom made. And when I say custom made, they're all made from sterling silver sheet material that in this case, what the, the silversmiths have done, they cut the sheet material into strips and then they run it um, through, uh, it's, it's a, a, a kind of a pull machine that they pull through and it makes the dome wire. So that, that's, they actually hand pull that wire. Wow. And then, so it's what we call half round, right? Half round dome wire. And then they take those strips and they all put those all together. This is all custom made just for those cabs. All the cabs are cut by us and then these are actually two-sided. So when I say handcrafted, there is no way 
There is no other way that you could make a design like this other than your own Lapidus and having silversmiths. You can't cast this. You can't stamp it. The only way you can do it is by hand making it from sterling silver sheet material. And nowhere near a value like we no, are doing. No, that's what I'm saying. Just, like today. Imagine, just the labor, just the cost of the materials plus the labor to be able to do that. So a fantastic, fantastic deal. All righty. Well, I will tell you this. We are very, very busy. $24. I can't wait till this comes to your front door. If you ordered today's special, maybe in turquoise, um, it goes back beautifully with the necklace that I'm wearing, which is, of course, the today's special. 811431 is your item number. Okay, a couple other things we mentioned. Not scheduled for a full presentation, but I want to mention uh, earlier we showed that Campitos pendant. Actually, I believe we, we were showing it on the... Uh, oh, actually, would work on the Today's Special if you were able to get the Today's Special in the turquoise or any of the colors for that matter, but we were showing it on the Gakun site. Looks so pretty. But I wanted to mention, because it's $50 off, it was originally $190. Uh, real quickly, Jay, Campitos, explain that to okay, us. Okay, this is Campitos Blue Ice. When you see Campitos, the reason you know Campitos is this. Do you see with the matrix in that? That is actually iron pyrite. So it's silver iron pyrite. Um, it's one of the few uh, turquoises in the world that has that. Normally the Campitos, you can see is that real clear blue material. This is some of the material that we had that beautiful marbling, that uh, beautiful uh, matrix in it, but that's a metal matrix. And I guarantee you, if we took this like Ange did, um, and you put this, this would go on our today's special and it would go with all three of them yeah. just because of the natural look to it. And the collar is also available. Yeah, I the collar, which the special they're, they're having a special on that. And you know what's really crazy with the collar is this. We always sell out on them. It's a very simple collar, but when these were made, we, we did that. They're actually, you could not even come close with silver prices being what they are right now to even making this, and I even come close to being able to sell it for that price. For $129.99. I know, it's a stupid, stupid price. And if you don't have a collar in your collection, it's something you really might want to consider because I got to tell you, they are so versatile. It's a great way to stack, layer. They're also great standalone, but they're wonderful to wear about any pendant. You can almost, any pendant, the bail on almost any pendant yeah. uh, that you get from us for sure, but from other people, if you have other pendants, will actually work with it. And so comfortable because you can see there's no closure. It goes, it never flips up on the neck because it's actually curved. It's, it's always a customer pick. So very rarely uh, does that go on sale too. Very, very rarely. R rarely. <laughs> <laughs> we still have an hour. Okay. Hang in there, girl, for me. We got still got an hour and 23 minutes to go here. You're stuck with this. I'm sorry, <laughs> mister. All right. All right. I'm I, working on three hours sleep I here. Know. Okay. I know. Don't, I don't have an excuse. You do. Uh, very quickly, this is, you just said, this is the, the, the end of the end, right? Uh, we call it cashmere blue, uh, anhydrite, but it's also known as... Angelite. Angelite. Yeah, actually... It is heavenly blue color. It's okay. so pretty. This are, they're both, I want to say... Yeah, these are brand new, but they are so limited, we weren't able to get many. Okay, they're really limited on quantity. Here again, this is, you can always tell anything I designed, okay? This material comes out of Peru. It's, it's actually a form of anhydrite. Um, the name that, that they give it in the mine um, is uh, angelite. That's what they call it. This is super rare, guys. Uh, you know, like when I say rare, it is rare. I found this five years ago. Um, a friend of mine from the 70s, the 70s and 80s, he's Peruvian, he's a Peruvian miner. He came to me in Tucson. I still, you know, like I get, I have like a photographic mind, right? Like oh, my mind, do. I can, I can literally, if I could, I wish I could uh, play this movie to you yeah. in, in my mind. I, you know, I'll see it. Um, he came, he had this like green bag. It was like an old military type looking bag. It was like really kind of, kind of grody to tell you the truth, like kind of greasy and stuff like that. It looked like an old ammo bag or something. Anyway, he came in, he says, look, you know, and this is a man that I used to get my Peruvian blue opal from and my Peruvian pink opal and my Peruvian honeycomb opal back in the 70s, 80s, um, when, when it was still available. I mean, you can't get any three of those opals, they're completely mined out. 
he opened the bag and I saw this and I bought, I had to, the, the one thing I've learned is to control your emotion when you're buying, especially as an American. If you get excited about something, your price just doubled. Yeah. And I guarantee you as an American, your price was already high, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So you really have to have a poker face. But when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh. He's got Peruvian blue opal again. This looks like Peruvian blue opal. Some of the material we had, not all of it, but this, there was a specific color of the Peruvian blue opal that looked just like this. So when we got it back and we tested it, I was, I was shocked. Um, so it is a form of anhydrite. We bought this. I bought a substantial load for him. We worked it. This was one of the last designs that we could do. That's why it says limited quantity. Okay. I couldn't build a lot of these. I'm down to the wire on them. Um, this might be, to be honest with you, might be the very, very last time we can do with this. I have been trying to contact him for three years. He hasn't come to Tucson in the last three years. That's what you and, said. You didn't and see him. the only way I know to get him is, um, I'm, you know, I, I've got a new turquoise mine in Peru, and the only way I can think of is maybe try to try to find him in, when I go there. I mean, it's not like it's not like the. Um, yeah, it's very, very difficult to contact a lot of these miners. And so this might be your last chance to get in on something this substantial. Substantial and angelite, five flex payments, fewer than 150 pair of the earrings, 075598 is the item number. Okay, collectors, <laughs> collectors out there. Uh, you know, I... You know, I, I want to show Beware. this. No, no, I want to show this in a way I, I don't want to show it. You know, it's, I know. I know, it's like. Okay, well, I know we're ahead of ourselves, <laughs> but let me just say this. It's Hubei. It's Hubei turquoise. It's, when it's gone, no, guess it, what? We're not well, going to have it, this it, one back. No, 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 it is already gone, okay? okay. The, I don't have this material. Um, you're, you're seeing, okay, anybody who wants Anybody who wants Hubei turquoise for me, and you want it in your collection, this is one of the, probably one of the top 12 collectible turquoises that, that I deal with, that I work with. Um, this necklace was uh, some of the last of the last of the material that we had. The, I'm, we're, we're pulling, this is what makes This is the coolest it. turquoise ever, I just. Okay, well, it's, 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 one, so it's, cool. so, it's, it's one of the unique turquoises in the fact you cannot mistake it. it. It's the only turquoise that has the, the, this particular look. If, you know, like, if you come to my studio, I have a turquoise collection that probably would make your eyes roll and you would think that I have a problem, okay? <laughs> I have a substantial, I know people that even have larger collections than mine. I have an enormous collection uh, of different turquoises from around the world. Anybody who knows anything about turquoise, as they're walking down that line of my specimens, they'll go, that's Hubei. Mm -hmm. It is the only turquoise that I know that no other turquoise looks like it. This is highly, highly collectible. Um, it, this was mined in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, it is impossible to get. Uh, especially impossible to get in this quality. You don't, well, you don't even see I'll, I'll, I'll just be honest with you, you don't even see bad quality, right? You don't, you don't see any of this at all. I'm shocked that we even have 100, I th what, there was like 170 think, of these I don't or something think left? That well, no, a little bit over that, but not much. I mean, now at this point, no. Our collectors know when we, we say that and they hear the word Hubei and they followed you. I, I, can you get more of this, Jay? No, no, it's impossible. And to tell you the truth, I have, I have gone... I've gone to every nook and cranny. How we got this material, we got this like, uh, what, two years ago? Um, we went around to any cutter that we knew back in the day, and I'm talking materials, I'm talking when they were cutting 40 years ago, right? 30 years ago, 40 years ago, when they were cutting this material. We went to them and said, can we go through your, they, every cutter, including us, right, like our lapidary, you have material that is left over at that time where you didn't want to cut it or you didn't think it was good enough or whatever, so you put it aside and it's out in your rock yard and it's usually in 55 gallon drums, which most of this was, some of it wasn't. We went through, we had to buy it all, take what they had 
And we went through and cut it. We lost over 80%. We threw 80% of the material away. When I say away, I mean it went into like a, what we call the rock pile, it, just a gravel pit, right? Mm -hmm. So right away, we lost 80% of the material. We only got 20% of the material, which was this grade, this color that had that night. So the only reason that we were even able to obtain the material is by doing all this work that they didn't want to deal with it. And, you know, it was a lot of labor. Uh, it took a lot of time. It took a lot of patience. And here's the thing. You might get a big piece of turquoise like this of Hubei, and you start cutting it, thinking that you're going to get anything. There could be nothing. You could, there, it might be a two or three pound piece of, of, of what is turquoise, but there's nothing there. I mean, there's nothing that we would, we would actually produce. We have to throw it away. So very, you know, we went through, we did what we call cobbing. We only cut the good material out of the, uh, the host rock. And so you're getting the best of the best. But this design wasn't done recently. This was done last, I think, at the end of last year, in October, November, is when we actually cut this. We launched it earlier this year. So you're looking at the last of the last of the pieces that we had left. Mm -hmm. There is no more rough. You are not going to see any brand new fantastic Hubei designs, mm -hmm. okay? Anything in Hubei is already done. We have zero material. In fact, the material that's sitting here right now, those are, those are my specimens from the 70s. Wow. When I used to sell this uh, uh, raw material, when I go around and sell this rough, those are my specimens. And the reason I bring that is, and the only reason is actually to show you the quality of this material. Uh, that, that we're showing you right now. It, it is so distinctive, but if you're a serious turquoise collector and you don't have Hubei in your collection, this is something you might really want to think about because it just doesn't exist. I have Nobody one has necklace. it to work with. That's it. But I have one. <laughs> I learned. Oh, but you have Hubei in your collection, yes, though. Yes, of course. Right. But not money. And that's the thing. We never really brought a great load. Um, at one, obviously at one point it was more available, but at this point when Jay says that's all, he said, collectors beware, we're counting backwards. Jay, there's just a handful, over a hundred, and we have more people now in the ordering process, so this will hundred, no, I mean. Well, here, here's the thing, if you look at this and look at the size, I mean, you can see it on Ange, I mean, it's always great to, you know, like when you, when you actually physically see this, if, and you see the size of this, yeah. it's massive. Yes. And it's all cut from the natural raw materials, all cut from the natural rough. So you're getting a big, bold statement piece, and you're getting in, in what I would call one of the top 12, the top 12 collectible turquoises in there. That's huge. Okay. It's like That's there are huge. so many like old number eight, spider web, um, uh, you know, the, I could, you know, there are uh, landers. I mean, there are a lot of collectible turquoises. Sleeping Beauty is probably the one that people know the most. Hubei is right up there. Um, the, even, the, even the story on Hubei, okay, um, how, they, how they find it. This is what they call, in the industry, they call this antique or vintage uh, turquoise. It was the absolute, um, when this was mined, it was uh, American miners that actually showed them how to mine it, they showed them how to cut it, and then they showed them how to market it. So it really is a truly an American story, but it is one of the most, uh, one of the top 12 collectible turquoises that you can have in your collection. And that's what we're featuring quite a bit of in this hour, and that's this is exciting, the fact that all of our collectors out there listen, and so I always say when Jay is here, and, and, and I take my, you know, I've, I've done the same thing because I didn't before. Um, write down the mine or you know, the name on many of these because I don't know how many mines now, even not just in turquoise, that oh, from pieces. You know, this, I mean, like you were talking about opals. Right. If you go, you know, we, we, we specialize. Used to be able to do right. We specialize in turquoise and we specialize in opals. If you come to my studio. And you see m massive specimen cases I have. There are more materials there, the majority of them, probably over 80% of the materials that I have as specimens, you can't, that is the only piece of the material that we have. You can't even get it anymore. They actually increase in value. So 
here again, I'm glad, you know, people, what, the cool thing about Mind Finds is we have so many people that are, they're really kind of raw counts. They're like my people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they understand, they understand the uniqueness of a lot of these materials and how rare they are. And obviously people do get this. And here again, when you look at this, it's not junk. Okay. I don't want you to think that, you know, like, um, the, the, and that's the whole key. E, but you know what? You can't even buy junk hubei. I don't even yeah. know anybody that has garbage hubei. And anymore. I love it because when you look at it, that when you're, you know, and a lot of your friends are rock hounds, or some of them are not, but can look at all the turquoise and say anybody, hubei. Okay, anybody who hubei. anybody who knows turquoise or knows anything about turquoise. When they see your collection, you could have 20 different turquoises. I guarantee you the one they can identify is Hubei. No other turquoise looks like it. All right. Well, want to mention this is absolutely going to be gone in the next few minutes. So congratulations to you. 822037 is the item number. All right. We're going to talk about the matching earrings. And I know you're getting that back. You're going to, like, get those specimens back in my, my bag here because I don't want anything to happen to those. No, no way. I, if I don't put these away, then Lynn, t <laughs> she, she, she mishandles my specimens. I don't mean to. And you these, know what it is? My no, arms are so short okay, and this table are, is so big. But these go back and when, when the, like, when you, if you came to my studio, you go, I've seen those specimens before because they have a special place in the case and they're all lit and everything. It looks cool. Yeah, okay. These are also super cool. And yes, they are Hubei. Um, they're just a little over an inch in length with your shepherd's hook and they are at a special also event price. But when I say limited, fewer than 200 <coughs> pairs. So $56.98, five flex payments. Uh, same story, same exact story as what we just talked about in the Hubei necklace um, is the case here in the matching uh, earrings. So we'll let you know when the necklace is gone, but we are focusing, as we mentioned, on turquoise a little bit in the hour. Well, let's talk about gold color matrix. Did I hear you say that, gold color matrix, also one of those ones now? Okay, this is one of these unique turquoise. And there's, now there's a couple, there's a couple of different mines that I actually get that have this natural, it's a, if you, this is a, a material from, uh, from Chile. But when I say gold matrix, do you see this? Okay, mm -hmm. so for people who don't know, okay, obviously this is turquoise. This is the matrix. Do you see that caramel? What makes this so unique and so rare is the fact that you have that caramel matrix. That's natural. Do you know there's a lot of manufactured turquoise that manufacturers actually take? Um, they take turquoise and they compress the nuggets together and they actually put a gold matrix in it. Really? It's, to it's, get that look? To get the, not only the look, but the value of it. Um, oh. Because it's the look, but um, it's actually one of the things that is um, very rare to get the caramel matrix in there, that gold matrix. And you know, like we're showing this, which is really in, in crazy on this. So this is Chilean gold matrix turquoise, and then we're showing you the pendant. Now, Ange is probably a better. Okay, hers has got the gold matrix in it. The other pendant is that solid, solid high blue that almost looks like Sleeping Beauty blue. But what's amazing with this, this is the natural blue color of it. Um, this is exclusive. This is all part of our gallery collection, and it's probably one of the very, very few times that you'll ever get to see something like this because it's got two things. Okay, number one, we don't make necklaces out of the gold matrix turquoise usually. And the reason is this, the price of the raw material is so expensive that normally when you see gold matrix with us, the only thing we do is we cut into the cabs. Okay, that being said, look at the size mm. of this cabochon, right? Yeah. This is big enough to choke a racehorse, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is like a Mondo cab. And if you look at this and you turn it, and you'll see it's cut three-dimensional, it's domed. It's a huge amount of turquoise. So a great pendant, you can wear the necklace as a standalone uh, piece. Uh, you can wear the pendant if you've got a collar, or maybe if you have the bail is big enough, you want to put it on something else. You could just, maybe you've got black calcity, or maybe you have lapis, uh, a, like a beaded lapis necklace. Um, anything really could go back to this, but the main thing is the size and a lot of the material that we get. Okay, everything, again, when it comes in the door, the first thing we do is size, the next thing we do is color, and then we do grade. 
very, very little of the turquoise material is big enough that you can actually cut something this Makes size. Sense. And this is all cut from one big natural piece. And that's a 24 by 29 millimeter. Massive. Yeah, it's massive, that's... especially for this material. Boy, you are not kidding. Okay, and this was originally $277, $277. Uh, Great birthday price here to get this, both pieces. And you heard Jay, very rarely do you see any kind of gold color matrix uh, made out of an 18 inch necklace. And this is also gonna have your, of course, two and three quarter inch extender. Uh, fewer than 100, is that right, Rob? My producer's telling us fewer than 100 of these to go around. And even if you go, this is another one on hsn.com, there's not a lot of gold colored matrix no, there, uh, in well, your no, collection. No, yeah, there, there's you, not a gold. But I, I just want to let everybody know, too, and, yes. and nothing for nothing, okay? If you go out, um, I was just recently out in New Mexico and Colorado, and um, I was out working uh, out there, and we're, we're, for people who don't know, we're based out of Albuquerque, is where I started my business, and we still are out there. So I grew up in New Mexico. I mean, that's how I really originally kind of got involved in the turquoise and the jewelry industry. Um, Right now, if you go to the galleries, if you go out there, um, even Tucson this year, the, the turquoise presence is probably the lowest it's ever been. It's not that people don't want turquoise. It's not people don't value turquoise. The thing is, it's just not available anymore. So this right here is what everybody in the industry is wishing that they have or could get. This is all natural, okay? It is natural. The color is natural. There is nothing done to this. It is not enhanced in any way to create the color. And you're getting the Massive pieces. Best event price for our birthday that we've ever done. Uh, we'll keep you updated here as well. Look, it's a beautiful high blue color uh, on availability. 826369 <coughs> is the item number. Okay, so well, good luck to you there. I'll let you know when that completely sells out. I'm getting my work out with this table today. I gotta tell you. <laughs> well, you I mean, know, okay. Yeah. The, Do you know what? I wish I, I, I wish I, that, that I could film, you know, like a lot behind of the, the scenes. Yeah, the behind the scenes yeah, things. Because the I, I gotta tell you, I'm entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Well, also, if, if you fall off, you, if I fall off this chair, off, I'm going you'll, way you'll down. Up. You'll barely, you'll barely, barely even see. Like Lynn will be like right here. You'll see like two little eyes and some blonde hair. <laughs> really, seriously. I mean, we're high up here, guys. Yeah, we're high and then up. That, my, my samples are all the way over here, and I'm not there. Are, and, then, and then you're gonna give me your and, and I get scared with the, the specimens because I'm got like the little uh, and I'm freezing cold. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Okay, Let's this is talk cool. laboratory. I, I didn't this know is that very we were gonna, cool. I didn't know we were doing this. I want to show so the two. Cool. If you were one of the ones, if you were fortunate enough to get that cuff. Now this would go back, and this is out of the, cool. this is actually cut from the same material, and it also same thing. You have this property of labradorescence. Uh, it's an amazing material. This is uh, all free form. If you look at the labradorite, same thing. You know, it's all individually hand created. We got, That's a J King design yeah. too. I can tell you that. Right? It is. I am guilty. I love it. No, it's big, it's bold. <laughs> but look at the size of these pieces. You know, it's, it's really crazy. Every time I come up here and all the all the hosts, especially you, because you and I have worked together longer than mm -hmm. anybody, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, Lynn's, um, I think, the only host that's been here. No, Colleen's been was here a, a year be, um, before, before me. You. Yeah. But um, the, you've been here. For, I mean, you grew yeah. up here, right? Pretty much. Actually, I'm going on 32 years. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I'm 28. So, I mean, she really, <laughs> she kind of grew up at HSN. Um, but it's really funny because automatically when I come out here, Lynn will go, you did this, right? Yeah. Suzanne does the same She'll thing, know. right? she go, I know that's this is thing. your designer. You did this. So I have to say guilty. I don't know if that's a good thing. Or it a is bad a good thing. thing. No, especially on really fun stones. You know, you want something that's big and bold and has in place with the light. Well, you know, what I like, and especially in design, especially Labradorite or any of the materials, and now not all materials actually can you work with the size. It all depends on the natural rough that you have. But I like to display the natural rough. I mean, that's what, that's what. What I really like to do, and that's when I design, I like a big stone presence, and I like big silver presence, but I think it's really kind of cool to, to be able to showcase things that are me. I just, 
I just now saw the price on that. Uh, yeah, it's I didn't crazy. even I didn't even mention it. Ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow. Wow. And look at that on Angie. Oh, you talk about a conversation piece. So fun. Eight one zero three eight nine five flex pay. $20, we'll ship it to you. It is on its way to selling out as well. That's gonna be another incredible sellout. Oh, Jay, this is, a, okay, here we go. This is coming up. I don't even know where to begin. All right, I think the Malachite, uh, all right. First off, nobody does Malachite quite like Jay King. Yeah, this is his Congolese material. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. And that high green, that color, and this savings is un heard of. Jay, I don't even think you know this. He doesn't know the pricing. This was $214. It's $159.98. Rob, how many? I'm sorry. 